best tips that you need to be doing right now before it's too late. Number one tip, well tip and the recent news of NHL 18. So first like tip that I want you guys to make sure you're doing is buy some gold rare players before January 11th when you get the gold collectibles so because you're gonna transfer them into ice if you want if you did the gift of giving set anyways so let's say Johnny Gaudreau you want this guy or whatever he might be already too much right now but if you got him a while ago keep hold of him and you just have the regular card alright try to get this guy for cheap like 5.3k if you can snipe him that'd be great price because his price is gonna skyrocket even more than it already is like it's 14k right now it says but his price is probably gonna go up to 20k because his card turns into 93 and when everyone's getting uh, the gold collectibles his price is gonna go up because everyone's gonna be buying this card even more Uh, Corey Crawford, he's like a really good goalie. Like, I mean, not bad. He's good for a starter team. If you buy his regular 85 gold card for about 2.5, and then, no, you can get this one for 85, 900 coins. If you get this for 900 coins, I'm going to buy him. You get that for 900 coins, 11th, when you get the gold collectible, he becomes a, a $13,000 like or more 13 not dollar 13,000 uh coin player or more like it's 13 right now it's going to be up to 25 once all these cards are going to be is extinct most likely I bought a Crosby for like a regular gold Crosby for about 30k maybe let's see how much he's going for now he's probably still 30k but I'm going to hope that is his card starts being a little bit more extinct. And maybe go up. Like right now, let's see. Yeah, there's barely any Crosby's on the market. Like regular ones. Yeah, there's one for 10 million. Uh huh. Alright, so there's a 57k one. So already, this card's becoming extinct. Because many people are saving up for the ice card. Or like waiting for them. So it's 50k about, I'll say. So. Once the 11th comes out, when someone gets a gold collectible, they're going to immediately upgrade them to this ice card. Because it's for free card, turning a 90 into a 93. Like, why wouldn't you do it? So if you say buy Crosby, or buy a couple Crosbys, and just, well, actually. Well, actually, if you can, you can buy a couple Crosbys, and then turn one into ice, and the other one sell, you'll make profit. You can do this with many players. Like it doesn't have to be Crosby if you don't have much coins. You can do it with Pasternak. He's a pretty good player. Uh, you can do it with. You can get a regular Kane for five k. Um, and then let's go. And then resell him once his card starts being a little bit extinct. Another tip to do is, hold on, I'll get there. Try to buy an Evo and take a risk. I bought Ghost Evo because I know he's going to get an upgrade. You can buy Larkin Evo. I mean, it's a little bit less because he's not on a good team. Buy like a Rackle maybe. He's getting tons of upgrades, and he's still like 20K. And it's just insane how people nobody's picking him up. I'll show you the Rackle. I think he's going for cheap. If he's, he might still be. Um, Anaheim, right? Yeah, Anaheim. Okay. Yeah, Rackle. 18K and he's an 88. He's already gotten three or four. Wait, no. Two or three upgrades. Like right now, he has only 79 faceoffs. I maybe would just put him on the left side. Right, right now he has 88 and 90 wrist shot power and accuracy and 90 speed. Say three more upgrades, this card's gonna be like elite. He'd be a first liner. Like right now, he could be like a third liner maybe. And then and three more upgrades, he'll be a first liner. Nope, on most teams. Same with this guy, Getzloff. 
he's been injured, so like no one, he's he's a lot obviously, but like compared to what he's gonna get up to, he's gonna be a two hundred to two hundred and fifty k player at the end of the year with all his upgrades, because he's a big player, good faceoffs, and he only has upgrades to happen. So good goodbye. Um, another tip is. Hold on. Do these again, again. I know I say this a lot. Do these hut challenges. You get seven million coins sometimes. You get stars of the month challenges, uh, collectibles or whatever, milestone collectibles, and these. This one. This is not bad, honestly. You get coins for this one. A challenge collectible, outdoor collectible. I'm not gonna do them because I have a decent amount of coins. But if you're don't have much coins, then I guarantee that you will be happy if you do them all. It's no not that much stress compared to playing freaking Division One NHL. Let me tell you that. Um, another thing I would suggest doing is play competitive seasons if you're a good player. Because this week's, uh, this week's freaking, what am I trying to say? Prizes. This round, round prizes? No. The season prize for this one is you get a, a 92? Yeah, a 92 Austin Matthews card, which has insane stats if you get in the top 100. It is going to be amazing if I can do it. That, if you get in the top 100, you have to be in top 100 in round 1 and round 2. Or, say you're 200 in round 1, you only have to be like, you have to be 50 in round 2. So just make sure, like, try to average it out, and then try to see where you'd be. But right now I'm at 191. It's been the most stressful freaking games at every single comp season, but it's... I think it will be worth it if I get it. Because I'll show you how good his card actually looks. His card, um, I looked at it and it's so much better than his uh, regular run. Because it's not uh, like a plus one upgrade. It's like a uh, special upgrade or whatever it's called. So it doesn't have to uh, rely on his regular card. His card looks like this. It's got 99 speed, 93 faceoffs, 95 deking, 95 puck control. His shooting's decently high. That faceoff stat is huge. And big player, 6'3 to 16. Perfect synergies. Fine shooting, 2S, 2TN. That would fit in anyone's team. Really good stats. It, like this player right here, I'm going to work my butt off to try to get in the top 100. And um, another tip is don't do stars of the month collectibles unless you have a tons of money. Because I did it and I got two silver pl players and two Karas, which sells for 3k. Alright, so the what NHL looks like right now is Marchand got an upgrade, Carlson got an upgrade, Lundqvist got an upgrade. Bergeron got snubbed. He should have got two upgrades, but he only got one. He got the milestone, but he didn't get the prime time. Four goals and one assist, and he didn't get his prime time. Here's the new Kucherov, Bailey, and Rask. Kucherov's around 200k right now. Really expensive. Just get the ice one if you can afford it. 50k until his price goes down. Lundqvist, I don't. I never tried him at goalie. Big upgrade to Carter Hart, Kairou, and Steenbergen. Just pretty much get the heart in the Kairu. I don't know Steenberg even just good. And then the Evos are the same. All the legends are the same. And Team of the Week will be coming out Wednesday. So I'll show you my rank right now for our online seasons. I am ranked 445, 153.75, and, uh, and 15. I'm doing pretty decent, I'd say. I mean, like, I'm doing a lot better when I than I was. So, like, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Only six, six losses, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nineteen wins. So that's not bad record for the last twenty five games. I'll show you my goalies record and how bad it is, but it's just at least it's an accurate rep representation because I haven't switched out the goalie in this many games. Alright, so I played sixty six games with this goalie. He's got forty eight wins and eighteen losses. This is includes competitive seasons and online seasons. I'd say Nine losses are from competitive seasons, and nine losses are from online seasons, about an average. I don't know about the wins, but save percentage is awful, but what are you going to do about it? I'm winning a decent amount of games. Points, we'll see what this is looking like. Sittler's a little bit under a point per game player. He used to be a point per game, but then I moved him down to the third line. Kucherov, the only point close on these two, but that's about it. Um, very close in Sackick. Other than that, uh, Shifley's not bad. I <sighs> Shifley turned it around for me. I did not like this card. Gave him another chance on that second line, and he's won so many games for me. Very recommend this. Uh, I recommend this card very much. Is what I was trying to say. Niedermeyer, great pickup. Zetterberg, fourth line, and he's putting up 11 points in 21 games. I'll I'll take it. Same with this and Taze and Curry. Uh, Curry's a little bit less, but that plus minus saves it, so that's fine. Carlson, I don't think I want to move him, but there's no one I can move him for at the moment until I get that fine shooting Matthews. So I only have to get an S defender. Madano, two points three games, not bad. I put him at center. Instead of Messier, lower face loss, but every stat's better. Plus the synergies are good. So, um, I'll show you. I'll do a team build. Um, maybe Friday because I want to try to get the Matthews and then do the team build, and maybe a McKinnon too. But I'll sh if I don't, I'll freaking I'll do one Saturday or I'll do one Friday no matter what. Um, I just want to grind out these, uh, comp games and do my team. I'll probably do another video before the team build because I don't know. Maybe I'll do a division, division, uh, game on, sh on a video, but I don't know. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoy it or enjoy my channel. I do a lot of videos like this. I don't do much Eshel or Franchise mode, but if you guys want to see that, just make sure you comment below and I'll do my best to try to do whatever you guys want. Well, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.